to Descent into Avernus. We are continuing our adventure here. The heroes have found themselves in the cellar of the Van Thuper Villa. Now, recap of what has transpired so far is you guys have uh, kind of went out on your training expedition out of El Terrell. Uh, on your way back, the companion pretty much swallowed, which is the big like sun slash globe thing that was above El Terrell that bathed it in its light and all its glory. Swallowed El Terrell and uh, don't really know what happened um, through conversations with Rhea Mantleborn. She has ascertained that it was swallowed into Avernus. You guys made your way back to Baldur's Gate to try to get some information. Um, you guys have encountered the Flaming Fist, became one for a short time, went into the depths of a underground um, bathhouse, encountered a one of the Van Thuper brothers, Mortlock, who basically disavowed his family, kind of told you, hey, shit's happening here with his family and uh you really need to uh to to take him out if you really want to figure out what's going on you have went after his brother amrick who was in the low lantern which is a bar that was basically a boat which you guys <clears> was burnt down was a was bar. yeah was a bar you guys quickly burnt that down made your way to the villa uh having taught or yeah to the to the villa itself Having talked to Thirstwell, which is the last remaining brother that uh, you've been able to meet, he has told you that he and his brothers recently stole a shield of the Hidden Lord from a crypt under the city. Recently stole the shield of a Hidden Lord from a crypt under the city. A powerful devil named Gargoth has trapped in the shield and has vowed to help Van Thupers conquer Baldur's Gate if released. Favius Krieg, which Rhea Mantleborn believes is the culprit behind what has happened wants to kind of know what he knows. Uh, but Davies Krieg is confident that he can devise a way to release Garguth from the shield. And this is all information he found from Thurswell. He also had an infernal puzzle box, which Duke Van uh has entrusted to Thurswell to try to figure out how to open it. Um, so you guys actually have that in your possession. Haven't figured out a way to get that open yet. And, uh, Continuing on, you guys have actually come down, figured out that Thavius Krieg is inside the cellar here somewhere. Gives a descended down into the cellar, leveling to level four. And upon entering the cellar, you guys are confronted with some bind devils. So four stone pillars brace the 10 foot high vaulted ceilings of this dry cellar, the walls of which are lined by a dozen barrels of wooden braces. Half the barrels have brass spigots tapped into them. The room also contained two stacks of wooden crates, one in the middle of the room and another by the south wall. Alrighty, so you guys can uh, re-roll initiative if you'd like. I've already got the initiative set for the Spine Devils. I'm not sure if we did that when we took off or not. So let's go ahead and just, if you want, you can re-roll. If you want to keep what you got, that's fine too. I was certainly happy to re-roll. <laughs> Absolutely. I got a 15. I mean, I don't care. So right now, we are currently missing our player that controls Colorado Smith. He is currently uh, MIA. So right now, we've got our very own Ryan going to be running that character, as well as Sigmund Indigo Francesca, otherwise known as Sif. We've got our illustrious leader here, Logic Bomb, running Alfred Dadbod. What up? And we've got the man, the myth, the legend, Dwight, running the dwarf cleric cracker. Mostly a myth. 
All right, we've got initiatives rolled. Let's go ahead and take off. Cracker, you are. Let you me drag reset the this uh, round real fast here. Drag that flag up to me, and I'll. Whoop. There we go. There we go. Let me cause some trouble. Uh, you know what? I'm going to. Target my three companions and cast for less. We have been blessed. Concentration spell. And I'm going to hold position. All right. I'm Colorado Smith now. And I don't know what Colorado does, so I'm looking his looking quickly. Take your time. I know he talks in a gruff voice. <laughs> Goodness, he has a million freaking spells. Okay. I don't know what any of them do right off the bat. So we'll go we'll start easy and go from there. He does have a million spells. How can he have that many spells? Um, I don't know. He's a wizard. What's his What's his ant? Eighteen ant. So he gets four or something every time that he doesn't have them all prepared. The only ones are prepared are the ones with stars. So the other ones are just written in his magic book. Two. It's a lot easier if on the the display tab you move it to actions, and then only your prepared spells show up along with the icons. There you go. I like it. That's the way I play. Even with the fighters, I do that. That is cool. All righty. All right, he's gonna he's gonna do the thing he does. So here and there. He's going to pull his finger out. He's going to target this guy right here. He's going to make his little finger gun he likes to do. He's going to cast the Cantrip Ray of Frost. He's going to crit on it because I'm good like that. Excellent. Then he's going to do the damage. Does spells crit, though? I, mean, I guess I'll oh, yeah. Sure they do. There you go. Twelve damage to that first guy. Partially resisted. He must mm. be ma got magical resistance. Um, one hit takes one d eight cold damage, and his speed is reduced by ten. Okay. Okay. Now I gotta switch my brain back to the other direction. So, Dad, Bod, you are standing right in front of some crates. If there's a couple four-foot crates to your left. That's what those squares mm. are. This guy right here is kind of like on top of the crates, too. So, a little bit easier for you guys to see him. Sorry, I, I will get better here. I'll get faster, I promise. No complaints. No worries, man. You're doing great. I want to try out some of my new blade flourishes. Okay, I'm going to use a Bardic Inspiration to use Slashing Flourish. Um, I'm going to... I'd like to move... 
Or just put me uh, adjacent to that one, or do I need? I have... Cool. Okay. So with um, slashing flourish, I can expend one of my bardic inspirations, cause my weapon to deal extra damage to the target you hit or any other creature of your choice that you can see within five feet. The damage is equal to the number rolled on the bardic inspiration. So I will do my basic attack first. Okay. So with my rapier, then I'm going to name cord. With cord, I'm going to strike. I'm going to do my damage. And then I need to do an additional six damage to him. So I don't, you'll have to do that part. What kind of damage was it? Oh, wait a minute. On, oh, never mind. What kind of damage was it? Uh, it's just whatever piercing. damage, piercing, yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, and then with Pitch, which is my scimitar, I'm going to attack him and hit. Pitch is going to do some slashing damage. And that is Sif's turn. All right. Cord and Pitch did, did their bite, and now we're done. All right, so all these guys are standing on some barrels? No, some boxes. The barrels are on a surrounding. Can I do a perception check to, to look to see how sturdy they are? The what? The boxes uh, or the, the box, barrels? The boxes that they're standing on. They are wooden boxes. Find the pen. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can. My dice tower got repositioned back here. Pretty steady, sturdy wooden crates. All right. I am going to go into my rage. And run up here. Act the spine devil right in front of me. With my awesome great axe. Definitely hit. Bam. All right. Bang a ring. Dad bought out. <laughs> All right, this fine devil here going to target Sif first. He's going to bite at you with the ferocity of a little devil. It's macking you for seven. He's going to whip his tail, his forked tail, or his tail spine. A dad bod. Barely missing him. Fine Devil 2 is going to attempt to bite dad bod. Automatically missing. And he's going to try another bite here. Missing as well. Nobody hurt the fine, dad bod? Fine Devil 3, knowing his... Uh, he's going to fly. Use fly by here. They don't provoke attack of opportunities. Basically flying straight over your heads. Trying to smash with a bite right into Cracker. Missing. And then whipping his tail. Missing as well. Dwarves don't taste good. All right. Cracker is up. Cracker is now going to go with the standard attack. I thought about casting spiritual weapon, but I think we're starting to do some good here. Hey, does Bless not target you? 
I only cast it on three people, so I cast it on everyone else. I decided oh, okay. not to cast it on myself. I didn't know it only did three. Thanks. Yep. So I'm going to hit him with my Warhammer. Uh -oh. That's correct. Hit. Whap. Swung at him like a baseball bat with a baseball bat. That's about all I can do for now, though. I'm not moving. Okay. All right. Um, worked so well last time. He's going to try it again. Come on, Colorado. He'll target the one that's right here now instead of the other one. Cool. Oh, I have the wrong guy selected. Okay. They're black dice. Why is it? Okay. Some reason Colorado is not targeting the right guy. It's on spine double number two. Oh no, it was and three. There we go. There we go. All right. So Ray of Frost. Miss. He's gonna, he uses inspiration. Okay. Missed again. Oh well, I tried. Okay, Sif is going to attack. Do some of that fancy bard stuff. <laughs> da 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 <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to attack. Dang it, Doug, get out of the way. Okay, I've already got him. I've already got him. All right, cord. Nice roll. It didn't. It didn't attack. What the heck? Oh, no. There it there. Is. Oh, no, just sometimes it's just slow. <laughs> Where they hit? Long delay. Core's going to do 11 damage, partially resisted. Pitch is going to hit. And do another 8 damage, partially resisted. And that is his turn. All right, bud. All right, continue my attack on this one here in front of me. I'm gonna swing the old great axe again. <clears throat> oh, missed that time. That was disappointing. Should have gave you. So, Should have gave you bardic inspiration. Didn't you guys get inspiration? Shouldn't you guys all had inspiration when you guys came down here? We used it pretty much as soon as we got here. I have not used mine. That's why I still have this gold star. What'd you use yours on, Eric? I don't remember. I think I did use it, though. Hmm. I used it to, like, redo an attack or something. Next time. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So Spine Devil number two is going to... Uh, this number time... One. Or, excuse me, thank you, is going to bite. Let's see here. What do I want? We're going to bite at dad bod here. With a solid hit.
cutting up a little bit of your armor, I think. And then this time we are going to use fork. This pitchfork kind of thing. And we are going to be using that against Sif. Ugh. All right, find devil number two. There's this tail span missing. Missing again. He's this spine devil number three still bent on uh, taking out this hungry little ball of meat. Mm -hmm. Oh, automatically missing again. Excellent. He's going to dash back with his flyby and he's going to shoot at you with a tail spine. Do I get an attack of opportunity when he leaves? Not with flyby. Ah. And miss you again. Excellent. Now, is he within range if I step forward to hit him? Yeah, yeah. He's still there's the ceiling is only about nine feet tall or so. So absolutely. I'm gonna step forward and continue my attack. I'm kind of watching Sif's wounds, but I think I'm going to continue to attack for now. Another hit with the Warhammer. Yes, hit. Excellent. Okay. Um... Are you Try I well I don't want to try ice knife because it explodes it'll hurt us. Uh just uh three magic missiles, I guess, on spine devil three. There you go. So he's gonna use a level one spell. Uh, FK hmm. thirty seconds. All right. So spine Apparently Devil number have, three. Apparently he doesn't have resistance to that. That's what I thought. Okay, with Sif. Uh, he's going to say... He's going to give Bardic Inspiration to... Dad Bod. I'm back. And he's going to say, attack, attack, attack this one with me. Let's, let's compound our damage. Take it out faster. Uh, now that he's given inspiration, he's going to untarget dad bomb. He's going to target the one that's, what does it do? Okay. There we go. Attack at that one. You've got Bardic Inspiration, correct? Uh, yeah, add D6. Okay, there it is. Uh, he's going to hit with pitch, or attack with pitch at least. Definitely hit. Nice. Here's damage. Not great damage. Not as much nice, but it worked. It didn't matter. The Spine uh, Devil erupts in a a flame, a pyre 
I think the wrong one just died. There we go. Ashes. Ashes. That one fall down. Okay. No. So, can I move after my attack? Yeah, why not? Okay. So, I want to go out and around and then come in behind this one. Sounds good. I guess it doesn't matter. I say, as long as I stay within his five foot radius, right? Yeah, you're good. All right, Dad. Bob. It's just more my, attack my, this one. More climbing up over those boxes would be. That's true. All right, with how, with how low the wall, the ceiling is. Yeah, you did great. I get plus two on my attack now. Yeah. I think you were the inspiration bard. Or, well, that was Sif, yes. actually. Yes, you are the bard, yes. I am the bard. I'm having an identity crisis for you. That's all right. Ah, oh, still hit, because of all the bonuses. Put this one to sleep. Ooh. <laughs> nice. This one, as well, erupts in fire. <laughs> And you take your move action. And... Uh, I can't see the other one. Can you see it? Oh, I, I see can, it. But I'm far enough. I'm on a different direction. So I can just move up there in that spot. Not a big deal. Our crackers can kill it here, so it won't matter. The spine devil doesn't like to be surrounded. He's going to head backwards here. Tempting ah. to hit this cracker with one final blow swing, and again, his tail just is completely out of spines, trying his last attempt. I'm going to keep the attack going. Yeah. This one erupts in flame, but at the same time with a loud screech that seems to echo throughout the cellar. Surely someone heard that. I'm sure Deadbot did. Deadbot. So as you guys are able to take a moment uh, to look around the cellar here, um, you see that the there are some doors to your east as well as to the west. They are all iron. They are made of iron plates with iron handles. Bars for windows on some of them. The smell of incense fills the cellar. Is there any loot on any of them? They erupted in flames. There's nothing. Just ash. Can I take the ash and give myself some war paint? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You get, get some inspiration for that. You get bodied up. Dad bodied up. Hell yeah. <laughs> get my Viking on. Get excited. There you go. So as you're looking around the room, you have the moment to take a look around. The tunnels, uh, the, uh, the room is about nine feet high. With curved ceilings, oil lanterns fitted into thick panes of green tinted glass hanging at regular intervals throughout the room. What do you guys want to do? Looks like Stiff wants to open this door. Now, my bless only lasts for one minute. So that's 10 rounds, but we're outside of combat now. So should I remove it? Yeah, that's all right. All right. As you open this door and step through, you enter a room that is um, just with hundreds and hundreds, about 200 Corked bottles of wine displayed in seven foot high wooden racks that span the west and the south walls. Empty wooden crates are stacked in the middle of the room. This place looks dangerous. You guys better let me check it out. 
Maybe there's uh, another room full of cheeses. Cheese? What do you guys want to do in here? Any... Mini, mini mo. Any, like, hidden doors, or... I don't know. Give me a perception check. Uh, you notice absolutely nothing out of the ordinary. I'd like to step inside and check also. For traps? Uh, secret doors, traps, mostly for secret doors. Okay. <clears throat> so you notice absolutely nothing out of the ordinary. So okay. something, that, something that we did in Ryan's game on Sunday that I absolutely love, if for from moving forward if someone does an action like that and looks for something and whatever the end result is for that action will be the final result so instead of everybody being able to continue up taking the same action okay not that it mattered because what you want to you rolled a four when you rolled a 20. Mm -hmm. but, so anything you want to do in this room you got um, crate, crates in the middle you got wine all over the place is there is there a vintage that uh, I've never had before? I want to take a peek inside the crates. What what are in the crates? There you go. It's in the uh, parcel. Let's see if there's anything you guys want. You find seventeen bottles of the finest wine. Um, probably if anybody here that. Colorado would probably be the one that would be most knowledgeable about the finest wines. The mo finest ale would definitely be Cracker. Can I pop one open to start drinking it? Absolutely. Yeah. Double fist and dad bod. So how many, how many bottles? And are you consuming the 183 bottles of common wine or two of the bottles of fine wine? I don't think I would be able to consume 182 but uh, i'll take two fine wines two fine wines you're going to drink them both right now no 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 i'm going to sip as we travel here okay so oh. i'm a very elegant two, barbarian two bottles are consumed roll me a constitution check i mean just to just to re, re preference here i'm sipping i didn't drink them all i understand okay okay so make sure I wasn't getting too drunk real quick. The water, the the wine that you drink is just the purest, and as you sip it, it just makes you just feel mm, so, so, so refreshed and so ener energized, and you're just feeling like top of your game, top of your game. You actually heal. Three hit points. Uh, I'm gonna offer some to my uh, my party members. I'm be like, this is really good stuff. <clears throat> cool. Can I uh, can I just grab the other fifteen? Well, it's hard to carry fifteen bottles all along. <laughs> can I put like two in my satch and two in and maybe two in Colorado's? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll take. Drink I'll, just I'll grab. Drink. I'll grab two out of out of a party, although I sure don't know much about wine. So, I think each time you grab one of them, it uh, it just what does one at a time. So okay, there we go. Well, I grabbed two. I didn't put them in your inventory, Eric. Um, I just took them out of the number because I figured you were drinking them. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple extra then. Okay, but guys, I want to warn you. I'm not absolutely sure it'll do the same thing every time you drink it. Oh, I. I <laughs> Just there might be something good to barter with later on down the road. That's true. All right. So leaving the common wines there, let me remove the rest of them. So hang on just a moment. All right. Moving on. So before you click the door, uh, check with me. Moving forward, if you would. Yeah, you're fine. Um, does anybody want to take a look at this door before I open it? 
Oh, I could check them for traps. Go for it. Why don't I do that? What do your keen dwarven eyes see? I see that I roll the dice. You see it is the common door. You know you do not see anything that would lead you to believe that uh that this has any problems opening. As far as like there's no booby traps, no Excellent. pitfalls or perils. All right, Stiff, I think it's fairly safe. All right. You want me to open it, Dad Bot, or you want to do it? I'll do it. Go for it. Go ahead and open this door. Okay, yep, go ahead. Billy Bop open. You're going to belly bop it? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. You, you should be able to click it. All right. So my roll me a stealth check minus... Uh, no, I'll tell you. You're, uh, roll me a stealth check in the uh, dice tower, please. Belly bopping. Probably not a good idea. I, I'm, I mean, I'm a barbarian. Oh, I understand. I'm not saying that you should have been the one to open the door. He's barbaric. All right. So the door swung open so fast. Uh, you were, weren't expecting it to be so well hinged. It just swung open. There was a, just a loud bang as it smacked against the wall. I let a, a very loud burp. The burp echoes through the corridor. Moving forward, is that okay? Sorry, you don't have a lock to forget. I forgot. That's all right. Two cultists come running around the corner, alerted from the from the uh, emerge or from the. So everybody stop moving and roll initiative. I'm gonna hold up my bottle of wine and offer them a sip as I roll initiative. Oops, hit the wrong button. All right, Sif. Just on round one. So at the end of this round, your bless will be expired. Very good. Okay, I'm going to cast Cloud of Daggers, which gives me the air fills with spinning daggers in a cube of five feet on each side. Send it around a point that you choose within range. The character takes 4d4 slashing damage uh, when entering the spell's area for the first time. So I can't see anybody. Dad Bod, where are they at? Um, well, strange that, that I seen them for a second, but now they're gone. I'm pretty drunk here, I think. Oh, there they are. Never mind. They're back. My bad. Okay. Uh, well, I, I'm going to put... Hey. Steph, yes. They're right there. Yeah, they're right I, there. I, I drunkly point at them. <laughs> drunk? Yeah, you're drunk already off a couple sips? He's drunk whether he's drinking or not. This is hard. This... <laughs> These are hard, so my... harder hitting than I thought. Sorry. So my thing's going to go there. Um, All right. Which what means, is it? Uh, it's, a, it's a cloud of daggers that spin around wildly. Mm. Awesome. Uh, I can use a bonus action to control it. <clears throat> so I'm going to target both those cultists and then roll the damage for the cloud of daggers. Uh, 
And that is a meter. The the cult is just ah. They stumble a little bit. This cultist one shambles forward to you. Raises a scimitar. And hits. Okay, be able to keep your... This cultist is going to move away from those blades. Weaking at the swinging at the drunk fool. Striking true. Realizing your air of allowing a drunk dad bod to go first into a crypt in which you need to go silent. Uh, Crackers in, or uh, Colorado will stand there. And he's going to push somebody with mage hand. How much can mage hand do? Um, I don't think you can push somebody, Cam. You know, yeah, I thought you could just interact. Really. And not really. Alrighty. But if you want to make something that sounds all badass, then sure. I was just going to try to push the guy back into the blades again. I wasn't sure how that worked. <laughs> I like but... it. Do it. Well, it's just mage hand, so I don't want. I don't want to. I'll just cast ray of frost. It's fine. I don't want to break it too much. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. You roll it, and I'll tell you if you succeeded or not. I don't. What would I roll? Just a d twenty. Yep. Just roll a d twenty in the dice tower. You caress his back lightly. Well, he knows I'm there then. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. Hello, Leva. The ray of ice shoots right through his eye socket. He drops down dead. I only knew that because I was able to judge the distance well enough with the mage hand trick. That was awesome, says Dad Bod. I'm going to move to here. <laughs> he, does, he goes, holy shit. <laughs> Target calls us number one. Again, striking true. Where did you want to strike him at? Right on the head. Right on the head. All right. So splitting his helmet in two, his face mask in two, he drops down, collapsed. Now, what you guys find on the bodies is you realize that there are two black robes and now only one golden mask as one is the shot went right through the guy's eye socket on the one of the ice so there's blood all over it but the other one is completely split in two Sick. Sif, i recommend you take the black robes and that mask maybe give the other black robe to colorado so it's a black cultist robe, exactly what they were wearing. The reason just... I'm saying this is I wouldn't pass for a cultist, but you might. Oh, I've I've played this part before. Uh, so can I just throw the robe over my current gear and then shake the gore off the eyeball socket of the one and put the mask on? Sure. Maybe the blood will actually sell it. I'll, put, I'll turn around and say, how do I look? I'll try not to hit him with my warhammer. <laughs> I, yeah, I was about to say, I pull up my great axe, about to swing at you. And then I realized it's you. 
That works. Must be doing what it needs to do. To hold you like you're my captive? Uh, probably, right. go the, probably go the other direction. So there is a blade, whirling blades right there. Yeah, I so just, just move you back. Disappears. Once the combat's over. Oh, let me kill the uh, effect. Uh, can Colorado and I are going to work for a second to drag the two bodies into the into the other room before we shut that door back? Just so they're not I, laying out here in whatever this hallway thing is. I applaud your uh, idea. Both Colorado and Sif gain inspiration. Dad bod, did you ever get yours when you uh, make sure we get you your inspiration? There we go. What I did, but I'll take it. The wine, baby. Oh, All the right. wine. I didn't know. I so, are you, are you actually stepping out there, Cracker? Yeah, I was stepping out to take a look. I was peeking around the corner. Peek. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, do you have? I believe you do. Yep. You can see all the way down both sides. The way to your north, there is a uh, like this little waterway, if you will, that is running in between here. Where's my pen? There he is. I'll move you out of the way, Sif. Hold on. All right. So the, the there's a smooth stone trench cut into the floor, channel water and waste. The trench is about four feet wide and three feet deep with arching stone bridges spanning them at a regular, regu, irregular intervals. The ledge on each side is about three foot wide. A sewer. So cracker. Yeah. You are going to be able to move at normal speeds, no hindrance. Everybody else is going to be minus 10 to movement because you're going to be uh, kind of like skidding the side a little bit. Unless you want to just go down to the water. Especially dad bod. I'm fine. With, right. I'm fine with hugging the wall. Yeah, let's go south. South? Yeah. Just see what's down here. Okay. Well, uh, why don't you let me get ahead? So maybe I can catch people off guard. Okay. As you approach, you see that there is a, a walkway to your east, or you could continue south. Can I Peek cross over corner. here and then peek around the corner? Yeah. Great. So what do you see over there? Tell your tell your friends. Uh looks like rubble, maybe a dead end, maybe another pathway to the south. Coming behind you here. here I'll skip to the other side so you can see. Well. Boy. I'll keep Colorado with you guys. Okay, I just tried to get up to go get him. Well, I don't see any reason to go that way. Before we before we go on, we should check that little passage to the south and make sure it's just a dead end. Okay. I don't see anything. All right. Water okay. water is trickling out. I see. Gonna cross. Now we know. I, at least I didn't want something sneaking up behind us. I like it. And I'm gonna peek down this corner. I'm gonna so, peek, but try to lean on the disguise a little bit too, because I don't want to be looking right. suspicious. Stay back for this. So also, real quick. So if you guys attempt to cross over, mm -hmm. uh, without taking a bridge, you'll need to roll me an athletics check before you do so. Okay. I've been trying to use the bridges myself. 
Yeah, no, you're good. I'm just saying. All right, so you see a door to your west. Uh, if you continue down, and it looks like there is a walkway that that hangs to the north. Okay, I'm assuming like in my mind, sound sort of travels and echoes and whatnot. Can I hear that if anybody's coming the other direction? Uh, yeah, roll me a perception check. Or why don't you have Colorado did it? Col all the way back. Can you hear anything? Colorado, you hear faint whispers coming from behind you. Hey, guys, I uh, hear some things coming up from behind us. Probably ought to either turn the corner or get out of Dodge. Um, so I guess I'll turn the corner, see if I can peek down this direction. Just hear the dripping of water. Gotcha. There is an iron door to your west, and it looks like the pathway north curves to the west. Well, it looks like we got a room here, fellas. We want to check it out. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm worried about whatever's creeping up behind us. Well, maybe we can, maybe we can seek shelter here and wait for it to pass and jump it as it goes by. I have pretty good dark vision. If anything's up there, I should see it. Same. So I'm going to see if I can. Okay, there's a bridge. So I'm going to take the bridge across. Okay. I What's everybody am... else doing? I'm waiting for the I want to take the bridge too. to get out of the way. Oh. Okay, you're all gonna stand right behind Sif. What you gonna do, Sif? Um uh, I'm gonna open the door and sort of have my body fill up most of the door space <laughs> uh as best as I can and then you know don't i'm obviously not going to close the door but just sort of open and walk in maybe keep the door a third way close see if i can see who's inside before they necessarily see who's coming in okay so as you open the door a bearded devil turns his head towards you what are you doing here are you my relief? Uh, no, not yet. I've just come to check to see how you're doing. Ah, uh, these prisoners. Hmm. They're just irritating, irritating me. Beyond all belief. A broad-shouldered figure with purple skin and a beard of writhing snake-like tentacles stands there. Lined by wooden doors, tightening his grip on a glaive as it glares at you through the darkness. Each door is set with a small barred windows and a rare of key rings hangs from the creature's belt. Ha! <laughs> it'd be up to me, I'd just slaughter all of these. I thought we were supposed to. Why are we keeping him around? That's what Duke Van Thooper wants. Ah, what the Duke wants, the Duke gets, eh? putting it mildly. Well. You seem to have everything under control. Uh, do you need anything before I go? So you noticed in the, the top sail up here, or the second cell, I, I should say, a face that Sif that you actually recognize. Uh -huh. He is a uh, an old friend of yours from your your uh, 
your serving days and Baldur's Gate, uh, you re remember his name as Falister Fiss. He looks at you quickly. His eyes light up, and then he steps back and gets quiet. He's sharp-eyed. Um, well, you know what? I'll tell you what. I can take over for you. It's been a long day. Uh, your relief will be here shortly, I'm sure. I just saw him in the um, barracks. So if you want to no. leave the keys and take off, I'll... Give me a charisma check. Oh, I, I'm good at that. Uh, performance, deception, or just straight charisma? Whatever. Performance would be fine. <laughs> this sounds like a good idea. I could take a piss anyway. You want to move right. out of the way of the door? Sure, sure. Well, you got the keys? I'm not going to hand the keys over to you. I thought that th that's what happened last time I had was guard duty. You're fine. <laughs> Feel free to go in right outside the door. I'd hate for people to be prepared. Yeah, yeah, I'm prepared. Uh, I'm, I'm hiding. Yeah, but when he comes through here. Yeah. That, that, okay, so stop right there, Will, just in case. Yeah, go ahead. My thought processes would be that they would be on the other side of the door. I, I, I'm, you know, player knowledge versus character knowledge. Yeah, I, I thought we were, were going to kill it. <laughs> so as soon as he walked past me and we had him, quote unquote, flanked, I, I my mean, plan would be to a, uh, initiate a surprise round of attack. Hey, by all means, he's still looking at you. What kind of like stepping out backwards? Okay. I just well, moved I mean, this guy. I just moved Colorado because everybody else was. So I, I, I actually I, agree with Sif's plan. Well, then but, go back. Move your guys back. I'm fine with it. Sounds pretty badass to me. The dad so, boss starts to leave, and then I see Cracker kind of motion. No, we're taking this guy out. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get him. So Thos looks at Sif. I'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes. Doubt it. Can we get a surprise round? Absolutely. Everybody, uh, so... Cracker and Dad Bod, I want you guys to get a free attack on him right meow. You know, try to strike strike him at the same time, right? Okay, got some hits. What the? Is greenish, whatever color blood that a demon has just spews all over the place as your weapons just implant into his back. He screams in pain and then whirls, almost ripping the wet. Or oh, actually, give me some strength checks. I want to know your guys' grip in the. Nice start. Perfect. You guys are so able to hold on to your weapons. That's crazy, you guys, bastards. And uh, you know, rip him from his body as he sw he whirls on you. Now roll initiative. I don't think Colorado got an attack, did he? Or did he not get in on that? Uh, that big thing. You guys are standing there ready to swing on him, don't you? Good DM, buddy. What do you, okay. I mean? What do you think, Colorado? Oh, I'm fine with it. He, he, the least he does, the less damage I can do. <laughs> oh, good. I'm not the only one that rolls. Although, nope, I rolled worse. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So, Dad bot started the round. I quickly pull my axe out of his body and swing it again. You all have inspiration. Excellent. Partially resisted that damage. All right. So as Thos whirls around and barely 
takes a scratch from your double swing on your axe. His beard in all these different like danglings of his beard whip around to your face, Cracker. Did I not have you targeted? I could have sworn I did. Oh, there we go. Uh, that would you were just you're too short, and it just goes right over your head. The glaive he uses is low enough, though, and you're able to parry it easily. Don't forget your plus twos from now on. Yeah, I was waiting for Sif to step up, and I was going to ask that question. So, Colorado, you're going to get a plus two as well, since he's completely surrounded. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use a blade flourish. I'm going to use slashing flourish, uh, which is going to use another one of my bardic inspirations. Uh, target, my friend. My good friend, my good, good friend. I'm going to slash at him with cord. Man, that was almost a bad one. Well, I thought that was a one the whole time, man. I was like, oh, that's It was good. really close. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, the extra damage is piercing as well. Another four. Okay. Right. Now pitch. I'll use that inspiration. Oh my goodness. <coughs> and there we go. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I didn't ever use the plus two anyway. That's all right. Here we go. All all right. Right. I'm going to take a sideways swipe with my hammer at his head. Oh, good. Striking true. I'm going to fill my coffee cup. Be back. Excellent. <clears throat> Forgot to put the plus two on that. That's okay. It was a 20. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, he got to go coffee. I'm going to go grab another beverage. Be right back. Sure, sure. Sorry about that. I'm grabbing my coffee cup. Uh, let's see. Well, went AFK a second. Okay. I'm trying to think. Is there something here that I could be doing that would maybe make this creature easier to manage? I could try to put it to sleep. Are we worried about? Are we worried about people finding us in the hallway Probably here? Probably has a whole lot of hit points to put it to sleep. That's true. We've got him surrounded pretty good. I think it's going to go down. Okay. And probably just do Ray of Frost. Well, that's one. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not using any spells that take spell slots because I think we've got this thing. I've been watching Sif. I'm a little worried about his wounds, but. Well, I, I think I, he, I'm okay. And I got a potion and I still have healing word I can throw if I need to. Yeah, that's a miss. He's going to get something that I'm going to pour a rum here. I'm going to use inspiration. Do it again instead. There we go. Yeah, that was that was Colorado's turn. Damn it! I should have done that plus two again. Wait until he comes back. Hmm. 
Ooh, Colorado, you got some good hits on him, huh? Uh, I missed the first time, and then so I used his inspiration, and we hit the second time. Did six damage. Nice. Noticing that that was not resisted. Was it? Yeah, it, yeah, it was. was. Oh, okay. So far, everything we've hit him with has been resisted. I can't imagine a devil and flames. I can't imagine he wouldn't resist that. He's not going to resist his axe through his head. That swing might have won. <laughs> might as well that roll. was a mighty swing. Might as well roll your... Uh... I'm going to use my inspiration to pretend like that right. didn't happen. Right. Swinging with a might of 19. There, there we go. Four, though, would have gave me a crit. Add yeah. D6. Add D6. Spend your inspiration. Your bardic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's spend that. Just six more damage. Or roll a D6 and try to do as much damage as you can. Three All more. right. Two more damage to him. So that'd be resisted. So probably do one more damage if it's resisted by half. Let that be the hit point that matters. Done. Roger head better. DDD or oh, DBD. Dad Bob done. Got it. <laughs> DBDR. Dad Bob done right. Guys are so clever. You know, I was going to say this earlier, uh, and I laughed about it, but I didn't interrupt Will when he was giving the narrative and backstory. But when you picked up the ash and put it on your as like face paint, all I could just picture is Dad Bod doing an axe body commercial. <laughs> That's what you got the inspiration from. <laughs> just ash. <laughs> There's a bunch of like female dad bods <laughs> all around him uh, body by ash may you, may you dream of large women <laughs> thick thick just a moment please you're good All right, so all of a sudden you see the you see Thoth starting to chant something, chant something faster, faster. Shum dum delay, shum dum delay, shum dum delay, and right behind you, Sif, another, not a spine devil, it's not what I wanted. It's not what I clicked on. Another bearded devil spawns behind you. That's not good. Now, the problem is, I don't know how to add it to the combat tracker. Uh, do you have it in your monster menu? Yeah. I added its can, token, but can, I don't know how to. You, but you, you can uh, drag another one of those monsters, not FOSS, but drag another one of those monsters from the monster manual straight to the combat tracker. And then from the combat tracker to the map, and then they will be linked. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, hang on one second. There, bearded devil, and there you go. Now it's linked. Thoth starts to laugh. Ha 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 ha. Uh, turns to face the dad bod trying to whip his beard at the dad bod actually you know what he's just going to whip his beard all the way across swinging at the both of you with one fail attack 
Ow. Wounding cracker deep as it smacks into your head. You are, I don't know how to put this effect on you. If it didn't, you are poisoned for one round. There is an effect key that shows a little sort of a man up there on the little thing, same place where you grab the combat track. You can grab poisoned and drop it on whoever has it. Okay. <clears throat> the bearded devil that came up in a puff of smoke and brimstone smell comes walking behind you, Sif. And attempts to hit you with his glaive. Your acrobatics save you this day. All right, you're up. Um. <clears throat> I'd, I'd like to try a spell alex for a thousand but i'm not sure that i know how <coughs> it works tasha's hideous laughter a creature of your choice that you can see within range perceives everything as hilariously funny and falls on the floor in fits of laughter this is if the spell if the spell affects it the target must succeed the wisdom saving throw or fall prone, becoming incapable and unable to stand up for the duration. A creature with an intelligence score of four or less isn't affected. At the end of each of its turn, uh, and each time it takes damage, the target may make another wisdom saving throw. The target has advantage on wisdom saving throws. It, it is triggered by damage. On a success, the spell ends. I'm poisoned. No, I didn't mean to do that. That was my fault. I was clicking a button to see if I can get more information on what poison does. Putting poison on that way, you're probably going to have to manually do whatever it's saying the poison will do. Because all that really did was put the idea of poison. Gotcha. Well, because the attack actually causes poison. Right. But it, so does it say it... in there what, what the effects of the poison are? Ah, you can't regain hit points. Okay. Okay. Sorry, you can repeat the saving throw at the end of every turn, ending the effect on itself on a success. Okay. Constitution saving throw, DC 12. Okay. Okay, never mind. Tasha says laughter. I, I'm, too, I'm afraid it's got too much... Too much resistance or magic resistance, so I'm just gonna attack the one that we're flanking and try to probably eat the damage of what's behind me. So, with cord, I did for it last time, but I remember this time. Okay, so cord, good job, cord, nice, and pitch. Oh, okay, not, ooh, still nice. Thank goodness for whatever. And oh, it. you did it! All right. Thos screams in agony. How, what weapon did you kill him with? Uh, so the scimitar. Pitch. So what? How did you kill him? Um, basically with one eye constantly behind me and the other guy, other eye forward. Thank goodness my companions have its attention because I wasn't able to aim well. So I'm going to say more or less probably a, a fairly lucky strike to the. Uh, Let's see. Maybe I chop the tail off with rapier with, with 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 cord and then with pitch just got him right in the base of the neck so his beard lifted up on the other side of it. As he chokes and gasps in his own blood, he drops to the floor. 
the bearded devil behind you just shrieks. You hear a hideous, sinister laughter. And oh, no. the bearded devil behind you vanishes. Oh. There's some sort of spell. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I didn't follow my instincts. Oh, thank goodness I did follow my instincts and didn't attack the one behind me. Cracker, you are up. I want you to give me a, a perception check, please. Or maybe he just went invisible. <laughs> no, I deleted him. I probably had disadvantage on that because of the poison. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, so you start to smell in the smell of incense growing closer. Are we getting this room real quick? Yeah, I Shut agree. I'm gonna grab the keys off the. I'm gonna grab the keys and the dead body and pull it in too. Probably a good idea. I'll assist. Shut the door. <laughs> or should we leave the door cracked so we can hear or see what's going on? No, I'd shut it. So I, I moved you to grab that pin. Sorry. Is there a lock? Uh, not in this door. No. Not on the did. outside door. He was expecting his relief, so I'll be honest. Like, we probably just need to. I'm going to readjust the mask on my face in case it got jostled during the combat. And then, um. Somebody knocks. Just answer the door. Don't let him in. Just be like, you took. You you must be wrong. I have this shift. Got it. Hey, uh, Cracker, can I use a healing word on you to get rid of your poison? Certainly. Okay, I will. I will. Throw a quick. Remember that poison, you cannot regain hit points. But does it cleanse poison, though? I guess what I was trying to do is cleanse the poison. Healing word, I don't think will do that. I think, I think we need to stop. I mean, if I absolutely have a horrible time with it, I can get rid of it. It would cost me a spell slot. Okay. I'm not very worried about it because it's not continuing to hurt me. It's just okay. keeping me from regaining hit points. <clears throat> By the way, it was my turn. Do I get to roll my constitution save now? Yeah, sure. You, you don't have to roll in the dice, Terry, unless you... I, oh, right. Well, I didn't. Poison so. stays on you. Okay. All right. For right now. All right, so in the second cell there on the left. I don't know if you guys could actually see the tokens or not. I'm going to open these doors, even though they're not, just so you can see the two prisoners inside and that these ones are empty. Just know that these doors are locked. Does that make sense? Yes, so there, yeah. there are two prisoners in here. The first one that you see uh, with the F symbol is Falister Fisk. Uh, like I said before, you recognize him... Sif, uh, and he recognized your voice. So that's kind of how that, I know he you had the mask on, or had the mask on, or if you still do or not. He's a short, lean, er erudite male human in his 50s named Falister Fisk, originally from Callous Man. So that's what you remember about him. Cool. So I'll pull the mask. I'll pull the mask off and say, "Fisk, fancy running you running into you here, Siegfried. What what are you doing down here? Don't tell me you were captured too and you escaped. Ha! Leave that to the famous Bard Sif. Not escape. Trying to avoid capture at this point. Ah! Oh, come on, get me out of here. Uh." Is the answer, what do you mean? I'm the next shift. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, Who's the other prisoner? Did I, did I trust the guy? Like, I don't know. Do you? Well, I'm saying like in my past, did I? Uh, do you do you know the way? Uh, do you know the way around here? Uh, I I don't know exactly how to get out, but uh, I know that I was I was captured for. <laughs> Why? I mean, I'll start to unlock the door, but I'm just going to keep my eye between him and 
and just everything else and just be like, uh, so, so why were you uh, captured? You, uh, you working against the Van Thumpers or are you working uh, against the... Uh... Well, listen, when Fabius Krieg arrived in Baldur's Gate a few days ago, it didn't take me long to hear rumors that the Van Thumpers were sheltering him down here. I tried to find out why and was caught. Oh, well, we were on the same side then. Absolutely. So, uh, this, this, you're still working as a city guard here? This, this, well, hold on a sec. This oh, woman yeah. next to me over here. This is Silvera Saviscus, a sage that operates at a candle keep, a good friend of mine. She's been monitoring devil activity in Baldur's Gate and Eltra for months. Silvera is like a good person. That you know. Creek struck a bargain with an archdevil. And that a copy of the contract he signed is hidden inside a magic puzzle box. She asked me to help her obtain proof of Creek's crimes. Silvera is no friend of Thavius Creek's. She thinks she can open his puzzle box and is willing to pay for it in gold or magic items. Um, like, okay, you sh that's the do I is that the person in the other cage? No, no, yes. no, no. No, I'm no. sorry. No. no. I'm sorry. When it was, started with an S, I assumed it was. No. Okay, so where is this, Sylvia? She's in Candlekeep, as I said. She operates out of there. Does she know anything about Why do you, why do you have the puzzle box? I I, I might. I, I'm th I think I do. Uh, we found it along our ways, but really, I'm just kind of curious. Thav Thavius Creek. Mystical puzzle box. Does this, I'm assuming this all points to what happened in Edinburgh. I believe it does. Well, I think, yeah. I believe it does. When Thavius Creed came here, I knew there had to be a connection. That's the rumors that I heard, Matt. I've heard rumors he's down here. Well, uh, my quick, friend, quick help. I, Release sure. me from this cage. Sure. Sure, I'll unlock the cage. I mean, no one's protesting. Who? No, but I want do want to check out who this other prisoner is. You you know this this guy this other your this guy with you. So this you when Cracker is you're peering through the cage, you see a elderly woman in about her seventies. She is yeah. very well dressed. Is she what? I said, is she hot? <laughs> For a 70 year old percent, woman? Yes. <laughs> to Sif, probably. Absolutely. She seems to be a very aristocratic. One of the lords, I presume. Are you, uh, you, you... I'm going to introduce myself to her. There you go. She arouses when, you know, well, she's awake now, but she seemed to be dozing, but she opens her eyes. Hmm. I see we have guests. Is the mom? No. What's your name? Are you here we to have, rescue we would us? Have recognized, we would have recognized her. My name is Satya Fion Hume. Who are you, and why did they put you down here? I was kidnapped by the Van Thapas to be used as leverage in the event that he, that the Humes find out who stole the shield of the Hidden Lord from our crypts. The shield of the Hidden Lord? What is that? I am a member of a group who calls themselves the Knights of the Shield. Awful spy we are, for a night. We are. My family is guardians of the shield of the hidden lord. Gar like, like, are you fans of the demonic devil that's trapped inside a shield? I'm there sorry, that sounds like it was Colorado would have said. There so is you're more to that story. Fans. 
What's that? It sounds like something Colorado would have said instead. So. <laughs> um. Why are you locked up in here? He used his leverage. I am to be used as leverage if the Van Thupas. Uh, to keep my family from opposing Duke Van Thupa if my family finds out that the Duke has captured the shield, is the one that stole it. So, if you can let your family know that, how will that negatively affect the Duke? It will destroy the Duke's political future in Baldur's Gate. If it is revealed that Duke Van Thupa has stolen the shield from my family, and I believe that's why I was imprisoned here. Need to get her out of here. Yeah, I agree. I don't necessarily want to take a seven-year-old woman deeper into these catacombs, though. Can you find your way out? No, there's no way we can let her wander out of here by herself. She would just be recaptured or killed. I guess we could we could all walk back that direction. Oh, did lady, you let her, did you let her out or not? I hadn't yet, but I mean, like, we're not up to Sif. Did anybody roll a check on her to make sure she's telling us the truth? I, I would like to roll inside. Go for it. Oops. Of course, I'm the one that's poisoned. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so you can feel down in your soul, soul of souls, that she can be trusted as far as you can throw her. As in, she won't backstab you, but what her true affiliations are right that's kind of what i gathered to tell you the truth what's it going to work to you for us to free you old lady we'll say it one more time what's it worth it why is it why would it be uh in our best interest to free you old lady if you truly want to stop the Duke from taking control of Baldur's Gate, I am your only hope. For That's I can true. prove that she stole the shield from us. And I can make sure my family is the one that makes a difference. Also, my friends of the shield of the Hidden Lord will be watching you. Uh can I roll a constitution check again for the poison? Absolutely. So if we get ba this fuel, will you pay for it? Is there a reward? Oh, if you find the shield and you bring it to my family, I will gladly buy it from you. <laughs> okay. That might be worth it, because I don't know what we're going to do with the shield that has a, a god trapped in it. Uh, oh, definitely let me procure it from you. I'll make it worth your while. So, and Guys, let me just... Jews, read. gold, women, maybe, boys. Maybe we, should, maybe we should come back for her after we're done doing what we're doing. That way she's not in, in danger. For her safety, because right. we're going further in, we will come back on the way out for you. Well, hey, what's uh, Fauster doing here? I mean, can he get her out safely? Do not like this. You will leave me in an old, frail woman imprisoned in here all by herself? You're, wouldn't you be safer there than we're out here? I can handle myself. I All will right. not. I will not be in your way. I promise. All right, hold my wine for me. Let's do this. 
Ooh, you have wine? Let me see the age. I start to hand it over, and then I think the better of it, and I take it back. Never mind. Oh, such a naughty fellow. Yes, he is a naughty fellow. All right. I like naughty fellows. I think we keep her in the back. Let's roll. Did you let her out? That's a dad bod's opinion. Crew. Um. I mean, we have similar goals. She wants the band thumpers to go down. We want the band thumpers to go down. Your family has been in possession of this shield of the hidden lord for a long time, correct? A long time. And you've never done anything evil or nefarious with it during those times? We are the guardians of the shield of the hidden lord. I mean, like, she's had it before, yeah. so I could trust her with it again, I guess. We kept it in the city, protected, secure, secluded. But when the Van Thappas stole the shield, we worry the worst. Boy, this old lady's been speaking this gibberish all day. Have you heard anything about it before, Fisk? I've heard heard tales of the whole of the the whole shield. So, what's the likelihood this lady's gonna stab us in the back when we're walking past? You you feel okay walking beside her? I don't I don't think this lady's gonna be any trouble for us. All right. I I have I have heard tales of the knights of the shield, and they they did some nasty things in in the in the word of rifle good. I'll tell we gay you in those tales at another time. Come on. We got to get out of here. I can well, show you a couple secret areas stubborn. where I think the Duke is going to be. Well, I'm just trying to come up with different. I'm teasing you. Don't, don't, don't. Just Sounds you, good. Bro. I get through life through you, bro. <laughs> let's, let's, I, I, I'm good to go with both these in tow, if you guys are. Yeah. I'm a little worried about our hit points. Well, I don't know. I mean, I know that someone's going to come here eventually to check on the prisoner, so I don't know if this is a good place to... No, I'm Shelter sure it isn't. Give me a perception check. Which one? You, Sif. You're by the door. There are bars as if there's like a window kind of thing right there. Um, You hear uh some footsteps and the smell of incense is growing... There is light coming down towards the the southern wall there um, in that hallway that's just, just outside the door. It's coming yeah. like down south and it's approaching you. Just a moment. Nobody do anything yet. Back away from the door. I got my mask. I'll put my mask back on straight my robes. I am I am casting prayer of healing. That'll be my last second level spell right now all right very good that'll help thank you okay so i'm just going to keep my eye sort of my mask eye sort of out the bars i guess to see if i can see if whoever that is is coming turning this way or they're going to continue to follow around the path so you see a couple of cultists walk up i'm going to open this door just so you can see them Does that makes sense yeah and they stop here mumble something slowly walking corner looks like they're going to pass us by the smell of incense take... starts to fade i think we take this opportunity to go boy so what can i tell you here is we've got a couple of 
of secret passages. I know where a couple of ideas where some of them might be, and I want to be able to show you those. Is well, that Fisk saying that? Yeah. Excellent. Well, let's go. Okay. Peek down that corner. Nothing. There's no lights. There's no sounds. You got the robe on still? Yeah. Okay. Peek down that corner. I even sort of straightened it up, made sure everything was sitting right after the last encounter. So as you peek down this hallway, it's a it long is a hallway. very, very long hallway. You, you noticed nothing. Okay, way is still clear. Fisk, anything here I need to stop by or just nope. going to the next doorway? We just need to keep keep heading this way. So there's two two things. What what are we going after first? Are we going after Thavius Krieg or are we going after the the Duke herself? Uh, I think we get take care of Thavius Krieg first. Then if we don't get the Duke, then our seventy year old friend here can take care of the Duke on her own in the court of public opinion. Oh, but it's not just the Duke you want to make sure you take care of. It is those two bastards that she raises as sons that you want to really make sure and you look after. Which two? Oh, not Mortlock. He's too much of an idiot. So which one was Mortlock? He was the first one we met, right? The fighter? Yeah. yeah. So she's saying the one we we can't trust the other two. Okay. Which we knew that. I feel like we knew that. Did we not know that? Yeah. All right. Like Fun, Sif. You can yeah. slow down there, bud. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all good. So as you go around south here, you as you peer south of the tunnels. The sewer tunnel slopes down gradually towards the south, channeling water and sewage into the city sewer system. The tunnel is blocked by a 10-foot square barrier composed of vertical iron bars with six-inch gaps between them enough room for a rat to saunter through, but too narrow for a normal-sized human. There's no way out that direction. Right. Boy. Sif. Up here is a secret entrance. And this is where you're going to find that bitch, the Duke. Okay. How secret, Fisk? Oh. Once we make an entrance, there's no turning back. She's going to know you're there. I'm going to look at everybody else. Is this the time? If you want to go after the Thavius, we need to keep moving forward. Well, what do you guys think? Go ahead and call it, Sif. I'll, I'll follow. I don't care either way. All right, Fisk. Let's kill the Duke first, I guess. Or let's visit with the Duke first. No. I think we should go after Creed. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too, because if he gets away, then this is all for naught. Yeah. Okay, so lead us lead ahead. You said straight ahead? All right. I said I would follow you, and then I gave you an opinion. 
Why don't you guys go ahead and close that window? Closed. Just know that the other two are with you still, and I'm not going <clears> to. <throat> All right, so as you approach a branching section here, I should you guys should have gotten that, yes? Yes. Yeah. How you guys are arranged. You're going to you notice that uh, to your south, there is a corridor with a door to your west. The <clears throat> excuse me, the hallway continues on the sewer tunnels. Laid out exactly the same. And then as you peek around the corner to your north, the tunnel seems to go on. Fisk looks at you. If you want to head after Thavius Krieg, we need to go north. Down here south is the vault itself. Oh, no, excuse me. So, excuse me. I am so sorry. If you want to go after Thavius, you need to turn uh, south here and go through that door. I was looking at the wrong room. <coughs> I keep seeing the guy from Big Bang Theory. What was his name? I can't remember. Oh, jeez. I'm right behind you, bud. Is it? Horowitz, is this it? <laughs> Wallowitz? Follow it. That's his name. <laughs> no, no. I was thinking about the guy who couldn't pronounce his R's. Uh, the arch enemy of Sheldon. This is the door to Thavius's where he has the where he's investigating the shield. Kripke? Kripke. Kripke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the door open? Can you? Can, is it unlocked? Well, you want to? Don't click it. You want to try it? Um, you sure. Gonna touch Gently. Door? Gently. You're gonna, you're gonna touch the door. I, I guess I'll touch the door. All right. So I'm just kidding. So nope. <laughs> you, they try to try the handle. Click, 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 click. click. All right. You're dead. It is locked. What? I I I don't know. I don't know what. Who's got the key? Is any of those keys off that that devil that you was guarding us? Any of those keys work here? Uh, I'm not going to just like start pushing in keys because I don't want whoever's inside to know that we're trying that. But does any of the keys look like they might fit? I mean, they all look about the same. But uh, this door does look a little different. Um, just Colorado node like an like a. What is it from Harry Potter? Aloma, whatever. Aloha Mora? Yeah. No, I don't he didn't have an unlock spell, I guess. <laughs> Do I? No. Okay. Um Well, boys, this is where we need to be, but we don't have the key. Do we go back? Take care of the Duke? Maybe she's got the key. Or maybe we check some of these other rooms and well, see. Well, the devils that were had these guys locked up that we didn't search probably had. Wait a minute. Oh, no, I got the they keys. I got keys off that There'd one. be keys on the ground. You have the keys. Yeah, I have the keys off that guy. But none of them looked like they were going to fit. You see, can I use my keen dwarven sense? Can I keen use my keen dwarven sense looking at the keys? And looking at the shape of the lock? Sure. Why don't you give me a uh, 
some sort of intellect check that you think would work. All right. Hang on. Let me try here. Investigation uh, or. Yeah, probably history. investigation. Okay, go for it. History. I'm much better on history. There we go. Your history of the locks. Uh, none of these keys will fit this door that you currently have. There's no even question about it. You know, none of these keys will work. This isn't the same kind of mechanism. Ha. Huh. So Fisk looks at you. There's a couple of chambers. Now, I don't know who's got the key. I don't know if it's that Duke or if it's any of some of these other secret Why ritual Duke? chambers. Maybe it is the Duke. That would make sense if she's hiding this guy. There's also a temple to some sort of fallen angel that is on the north side. Maybe it's in there. I'm not sure. There's a kitchen and a food area to the north side. What do you guys want to do? And there's living quarters for some of some of the cultists that, that are working and living down here. Dead bod, give me a perception check. Perception. Dice tower. There you go. The smell of incense is starting to grow stronger. Oh, great. Uh, can I dad about this door open? How, how strong does it look? <laughs> you can definitely try if that's what you want to do. Team? Put the old dad bot into it? We could do that, but we could also take out the cultists that are wandering the hallways that may very well have the keys. Yeah, but I mean, they're going to see us a lot further away than we see them. Do, which way do you smell it from? Coming straight south or from the east? Or from the west? Uh, he smells it coming from the west. I can try to stop them using the, this costume and you guys can ambush him out of the hallway above us. Deal. Done. Let me vote. Get out of sight. What up? Okay. So I'm going to sort of hide there until they get close enough and then try to step out. Maybe Do I we know what kind of room this is supposed to be other than his living quarters? He knows it is where Thavius Krieg is investigating. It's not his living quarters. It is. Oh, sorry. That's not his living quarters. That's where he's investigating and doing his research on the shield, trying to unlock its secrets. Got it. Thank you. And then uh, up here above you guys is. Uh... Oh, shit. What is her name? Steven or Set, Stuver? Set, Satir. Satir. The old crone. Set, yeah, Satir. The old crone is by oh, is with you, Cracker. The cultists are making their way down. These ones look to be wearing different colored robes. Hmm. You they look this, fanatical to me. I says you have this much time to figure out uh, what you're going to do different. I'm okay. I'm okay. Staying with the same plan. Yeah. It's too late now. We're too separated. We're not going to run. <clears throat> okay. As soon as Oi! Come... Yeah. this one spots dad bod. Oh, I was going to talk. Roll perception. Well, perception? This one... Well, this one walked around the corner. Dad bod standing right there. How can you miss that hairy, hairy body? I'd like to point out that I am not in his line of sight according to fantasy grounds, but okay. Oh, it... I'm clicking you and I can see you. I can see Cracker too. Lower one sees us. Right. Top one, no. I'm dad bod. I'm like, I'm like a pole, man. It's that wall. The circle is making me look big. Cir circle puts on 10 pounds. 
All right. Well, how about this? How about you give me a uh, a stealth check to see if they spotted you? No, no. There's no need. Let's let's uh let's murder these cowards. Let's, let's rock. Okay. So this one is going to run up here. Like we didn't even get an attack. We don't. We knew they were coming. We were ready for them. They spotted you as they walked up, and they were, they rolled twenties on their initiatives. Oh well, I guess oh, I guess, well, I, I, guess I misunderstood the whole plan. Oh, what was I? I guess they were walking up. Dad bod was right there. They were supposed to be hiding around the corner when they come, like you know, like this spot here. Yeah, but there's only so much. I was going to say, you know, hey, I need help getting in this door. But okay, <clears throat> then go for it. There we go. No, no, I'm, I'm, we're fine. We just do the initiative. We're good. That's fine. Just yeah, do we your thing. You I'd re- re- we don't need you to redo it. We'll just keep the same initiatives when we get to that part. Okay, well that that's basically what I what I said I was gonna do is gonna do. Uh, oh, my bad. And just basically say, hey, uh, Mr. Krieg's wanting us to get in to uh, uh, polish the shield, but uh, I seem to know I don't have the key. What are you doing down here by yourself? Uh, I'm not. Um, St- Stephen, I think his name was. He went to go find the key, but. Uh, I was just waiting here in case someone else came by. Steven. Who the hell's Steven? I, I'm i not sure. I mean, it's the guy that was with me. I didn't do my initiatives before, so I was doing them now. Sorry. All right, you're good. Uh, All right. It was the guy that was, was and what the guard is, that was pointing can, with me. Can I, what, can I charge down and attack now? Surprising yeah, him? Yeah, there you go, boy. Can I dad bod this guy? Absolutely. You gotta actually belly bump him into the door. Well, I mean, I, I I was thinking more like a tag team, like you can clothesline him as I dab bottom him in right beside you. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Oh, do I need to roll for this maneuver? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me an athletics check if you're going to be smashing him with your belly. Either that or a strength check. I don't care. Athletics is my strength, so that's fine. All right. So you hit him with such gusto. Gutso. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> right. He falls and splashes down into the water, smacking his head on the corner of the basin, going unconscious, lying face down inside the water. Damn. Some dad bot oh, action no, right there. Oh, no, we're being attacked. <laughs> help, help, we're being repressed. All right, gain inspiration for that dad bod. Ooh. We, we need help. We're being attacked. Quickly, open up this door. We can hide inside. <laughs> <laughs> there are no windows to that door. I was talking to the other guy that's still standing there. Oh, oh I see. I see. I see. I see. Well, I'm coming down to what? hit the other one. Okay. I bet they killed Steven. Steve. I'll move it back then. Good. <laughs> Perfect. You're just doing a regular attack? Yes, just regular attack. Okay. Gash of blood spews from his what? Chest? Yes. Awesome. He points at you. Starts to murmur. I don't think that worked, did it? What? What are you trying to do? Hold oh, you're putting hold person on me? Did I fail the saving throw? Yeah, I don't know. It, just said, like it, it didn't give you one. It was just effect. Oh, oh no, I no, I just cast the effect on you, didn't I? That was yes. dumb. I need to actually I didn't see the spell. I just I thought that was it. You do the I, cast. Yeah, you no, I got targeted, you. you do the cast. I succeeded in my saving throw. Ooh, barely. 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 DC was eleven. You rolled an eleven. 
Excellent. Sif, you're up. I'll look at Sif and say, join us or die. <laughs> we're, we're being attacked. Um, Rick, strike him in the back. A absolutely. I'm going to pull out my dagger like I'm trying to hit Cracker, but I'm actually 